Hey guys, what's up? Beast and Beast Toys are coming at you this evening. Gonna do an opening. Got a Mandalorian Migs Mayfield Target exclusive. Vengeance Collection 229. Um, I actually like these because they look like the Assault Tank Troopers, which unfortunately, if they weren't worth so much, I'd probably open the one I got, but uh, I'm going to sell it. So, this one I'm not. These did get some targets from marking these down. I took back Honestly, took back the one Costa Reeves and this that I had. I actually was in Target a few days ago, my local one, closer to me, and there was a Costco that's still there on sale. Actually, I was in there today. I don't remember if she's still there or not. No, nah, I think she was gone today. Over the week, they had a, actually had Galen Urso Black, uh, Black Series uh, on sale for like six eighty nine, but. And the other day I was in there, I thought about buying a couple and then maybe switching heads and making them, even making some Imperial scientists. But I went back today and they were gone. So anyway, anyway, regardless, we're here for MIGs. So, um, Axe Wolves, my Axe Wolves actually will be here tomorrow, I think, it's Sunday evening. Pretty sure my Axe Wolves will be here tomorrow. My Mando Droid or Boba Fett Droids should be here tomorrow. I just got my Mando. Mando Crease um, with Grogu and the Spider Creature um, the other day. Just did an opening for it. Here's the uh, cool Spider Creature. Just did that video actually, maybe this morning. I can't remember. This morning or, yeah, I think it was this morning. Anyway, let's see what we got here. So, as always, good removable helmet. He does have a holster. So, Got this blaster. We're going to put that blaster in the holster. Figure out which way to do it correctly. As I always say, I like me some holsters. And uh, just because it holds the weapon. Instead of having to... I say that. Put it in his hand. And, uh, and or carry it around. There we go. So, here it is. Nice on that. So, we got the Bill Burr look going here. Um... You know, the, I will say vintage collection figures are getting better and better as far as the look that you get. Now, let's see if we can get this elbow bent. There we go. Some of them are tricky and some of them are not. So, again, here he is. We have the uh, Dinger in coming pretty soon. Um, or I, I say that vintage, we have it coming, but I, I personally, I don't i think i canceled mine like i said i've really pretty much canceled all my vintage collection i will buy a few here and there but uh not much the only thing i think i have left in my vintage collection is a few super mandos um are they death watch mandos and uh my so a couple of Ahsoka, a couple of those and a couple of ahsoka clone trooper and that's it i've canceled pretty much everything so um i will open sporadically and i'm also selling off some of mine. So I have some listed on eBay, some lots, and some on Facebook Marketplace. So sold a couple. Still got uh, one big black tote here full. So um, of the ones that I'm selling. And actually, yeah, I think one and a half. Anyway, regardless. So here he is, uh, knee joint. I have a hard time. I don't want to bend it too far. Maybe, maybe it's not wanting me to. Uh, I don't want to break it though. The rest of it's fine. A little loose, turns a little loose. I don't know. I noticed that on some of these, they're a little loose and they turn a little easier, like this. It's just really easy. Um, <clears throat> but anyway. But, uh, hey, there you have it, guys. He's pretty much a tank trooper in disguise. Uh, just a repaint of the tank trooper with the new head and a little bit larger helmet, removable helmet. I do like that. I did like these figures in the Black Series. I like this figure now. You don't have to take the helmet off. You don't want it to be Bill Burr or Migs. You can pretty much leave it on and treat it as a tank trooper if you would like. So, honestly, I'll probably open the Rogue One um, tank uh and put him he might be my driver so since i don't have a vintage collection one and, and obviously it'd be hard to get because they're not uh cheap <clears throat> like i said i have one but i'm gonna sell it because it's in good shape and 
no reason. I got I actually picked mine up at a Walmart, um, one that's about 40 miles away. Haven't been there one time uh, when that wave was out. There it was on the shelf. I think there was two. I'm kicking myself, wish I grabbed the other one. Those are going for about, I think Action Figure 411 has them at about 65 or so right now. So I think I have mine list on eBay for about that. So anyway, so if I sell it, I sell it. But uh, I'm not going to open it like this one. But uh, all right, anyway, good looking figure. Here he is. Quick, one more quick look as I show. So there he is, guys. Migs Mayfield Mandalorian Vintage Collection 229. So hit that like and subscribe button. You want to check out more videos. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Beast from Beast Toys. We'll see you.